I feel almost more digitally connected to people in this quarantine than I did before because it's now the only way to connect with people at the moment. I mean, shooting Little Fires was really nice because I think we all tried to not be in our phones as much um, and really kind of like live in this world of just the 90s before the internet and everything. But it's, uh, it's interesting to compare it to the quarantine era, you know? Yeah. <laughs> So this show's kind of released at the perfect moment. And it's interesting, I mean, the show is about how a family communicates with each other and interacts with each other. So it's kind of interesting how that kind of parallels families having to spend time with each other. No, I think it's funny because I think the show is sort of a guide on what not to do. It's like, <laughs> if you do all of these things, your family relationship will, will probably not be the best. What was it like for you as an actor, figuring out how to portray something that was in a time period from when you weren't born, how did you bring that to life? It's always, for me, it's always just tons and tons of research. Like, cause I know nothing about the 90s. I knew nothing about the 90s. Being born in 2003, I, I missed everything there. But it was, it was like, there's a show on Netflix I watched that was all about the 90s. Uh, a bunch of music, articles, kind of whatever I could find. And it's so much fun because I've never actually done a period show before this. Oh, really? So cool to try and figure out like how, how everything works a little bit differently. I also wasn't born in the 90s, uh, so I wanted to go back and do a lot of research and um, see what it would be like to live in that time period through her eyes. So, you know, I watched things like Clueless, you know what I mean, because that would be something that my character would love to watch, or creating playlists for her that were filled with Spice Girls and Backstreet Boys and things like that that I knew that would sort of bring her to life, you know what I mean? So funny, I was watching this interview with Liz, our showrunner. I think her first writing job was actually on Dawson's Creek <laughs> with Josh, which That's I think is amazing. so crazy. It's so full circle, you know? I actually didn't watch Dawson's Creek. I should have because of Joshua Jackson, our dad. But I did watch Cruel Intentions, which, which had both Reese and Josh, and that was such a trip. I haven't seen either. I'm sort of failing as a, as a son. Uh, <laughs> no. Nope. So, how would you describe Lexi and Moody's relationship as brother and sister on screen? We don't reach out to each other at all. There is nothing here. Um, and then I think as the series sort of goes on, there's some realizations um, that we may be a little more similar than we thought. Yeah, I agree with that. I think it's really interesting, the sibling dynamic. You see it in that one scene of all of us watching TV, and it's interesting like how isolated we are. Like We're all going through our own sort of things, and we're in the same room sort of trying to seek comfort in that, but also knowing that we could never reach out to each other and talk to each other, which is really interesting. I think it's definitely not like our friendship off uh, off camera. I mean, off camera, you and I really definitely get along. Um, so it's kind of funny the dichotomy of that, right? What was it about your storyline about growing up and what your character went through that was most challenging for you to portray and what was most different from your particular experience? Trying to justify the judginess he has towards people and like <laughs> why just at like a glance he's like no i, I don't want to deal with this i want nothing to do with this like at the dance for example it's something i think he's always deep down like wanted to do but knows he yeah. doesn't really fit in so he's come up with these reasons why he doesn't want to do it and so i think he walks in and looks around and takes everyone in and it's sort of like i hate these people <laughs> And it was just kind of trying to figure out why. I feel like it was the same with my character Lexi because she's so blind. And she holds on to this idea of her never doing anything wrong and that she has to be right about things. Um, and she thinks that she's progressive because, you know, she's she's got a, a black boyfriend and she's, you know, she's great and she doesn't see race and you know she's perfect and she's not and for me I, I grew up obviously in a different time period um in a very different environment with a different very different mentality and so as the show progresses you know like in episode five the whole ab abortion storyline with you know how she writes down pearl's name instead of her own like it, it's so horrible and um and so for me the most challenging part was 
finding the humanity in that and finding the reason why she acts the way she does as opposed to playing someone who's just being wrong or bad or morally gray for the sake of it. You know, you have to figure out what had to have happened for her to become the way she became. Because I think that in real life, I don't think people think that they're the villain in their own story. I think people feel like they are their own underdog or their own hero. And yeah, if you want to make something real, I mean, you have to look at the world the way your character looks at the world, not how other people look at your character, you know? What do you hope that young viewers specifically get or take from the show? Um, I think the biggest thing is, it's gonna sound sort of cliche, but uh, not judging a book by its cover. And I've, I've, I've used that phrase too many times in my life. But that one, I think, is the easiest to apply and would make a big difference in life. Just giving more people more opportunities and less judgment in the world in general. That's so true. I think that's really what the show is about. I mean, you never really know what people are truly going through. And I think this show really highlights how many layers there are to a person and how many things we hide from each other and from ourselves. I hope that young people look at it and they're a little bit more able to see themselves in a clearer light or willing to see themselves in a clearer light um, as well as others. The show just kind of holds a mirror up to you and I think that's really interesting and I think there's a lot of power in seeing a situation, a, you know, a town like Shaker Heights or a person as they really are and not what they project to be and then being willing to change from that and knowing that we're all flawed and human and messy and um, like you said, to not judge a book by its cover I and mean, there's so much more to a person, you know? I love it. <laughs>